Hey there, everybody. Uh, welcome to a special edition. Um, my daughter and I yeah, <laughs> are going to be uh, taking something to the hospital today, and luckily it's not a person because they're sick. Uh, so let's show you what we're doing. So this is what we're doing. We uh, 3D printed uh, 10 face shields. Um, want a big thank you to uh, my company Thor Labs for supplying the actual polycarbonate shields. Uh, they had those cut out and printed. And so we're on our way to uh, drop these off at the hospital and then we're gonna make some more and, and hopefully do this uh, again next week. So here we go. A little post-apocalyptic, is it not? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, when you're doing something good, what do you do? You listen to some good music. Let's give him a call. Okay. Central Hills Main Guest, this is Erica. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, we're here to drop off some face shields. Oh, okay. Are you Sterling? Yes, I'm right out front. Okay, okay I'll be right out. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye. And then um, on the, the straps, uh -huh. you just need to slit them to get them to the right size to put them on. Okay. All okay. Right, great. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Do you close that automatically? Or do yes, I, I will close okay. it. All right. Thank you. All right, all done. And then next week we'll uh, we'll uh, drop off ten more. So um, we're doing this as to be an inspiration for other makers, three um, D printer aficionados to uh, go through this process and and try to help their local communities. So if you got a three D printer, uh, download the uh, Prusa um, uh, files and go ahead and three D print those. Uh, you'll have to source some polycarbonate somewhere. Uh, there's also instructions on there for how to uh, put those together. So thanks again for watching. Um, please uh, uh, help your local community, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.